Hi all folks, this is Max from ZeroMax uh, YouTube channel and ZeroMax.com and hi on Android.com. So, um, today Nuke tablet came out today. I'm um, going for 249 dual core, 1.2 GHz, I think it's a 7 inch screen, 1024 by 800. Um, just like the Kindle Fire, it's just as good. I really like, um, you know, I, li I like the new Nuke uh, tablet because it's it's like their third device. I don't usually like the first generation devices anyways. Like the Galaxy S, I didn't buy it because I knew it was their first generation and Samsung had to do something. But now I have all of Galaxy S2 including T-Mobile, uh, AT&T and also the Sprint Epic Touch which are great phones and the Galaxy Nexus which is what I'm holding right now. Nexus, Nexus S is really good too. Um, so. That's the news, and then tomorrow I'm gonna probably have a chance to uh, do a hands-on review of the new tablet at the end DevCon, which is the Android uh, Developers Conference in San Francisco. Actually, it's in Burlingame, but it's only like five minutes away from here. And I got a pre press pass, which means I can get into every conference for free, and also I get in for free, which is cool. <laughs> anyway, um, tomorrow I'm gonna bring my Canon 7D camera which can record really good resolution stuff that's why you like my videos anyway today I'm gonna have those and um, anyway uh, my question is will you get the Kindle Fire or the Barnes & Noble uh, tablet new tablet or um, you're not gonna get a tablet but this is a great time to buy these two devices are really good and I I'm thinking the Barnes & Noble will be better because uh, the Kindle Fire is good, but it's their first Android tablet versus Barnes & Noble, which is, is their like third um, tablet device. So I would get the Nuke um, if you uh, don't mind spending extra 50 bucks. But Amazon Kindle Fire I think will be great too. So anyway, see y'all later. Thanks.